Chapman, it's a real honor for me uh, to have been one who helped organize the division that you have been the entity now, uh, which was a, a division in the beginning, and then had the opportunity to command it, and now we in our way are honoring uh, you as a junior officer. So congratulations. Thank you. Tell me, tell me what you're about uh, in uh, the military today. <laughs> okay, so um, what I'm actually what I'm here for is um, I'm here as a finalist for the uh, junior office, the ROA Junior Officer of the Year Award, um, and I really got involved with ROA because my unit sent me as a brand new second lieutenant to my first national convention. And what unit was that? Um, it was, I was under the 130 SC okay. at the time. And, uh, and so I went to the national convention and I was really very surprised um, to see and to finally kind of understand a little bit about this organization that I hadn't heard about before mm -hmm. and all the work that it does with legislative issues and, and supporting our reserve force. Um, but also that it's really it's really integrated with uh, with joint uh, joint services. It crosses not only services, but now it also crosses not just officers, but with, also with enlisted and affiliate partners. And having the opportunity to um, meet people and um, and work with a group that embraces all of those different aspects of what it means to be a reserve uh, a reserve component soldier. Or, or servicemen, um, it's, it was really very exciting for me. And it uh, goes even beyond, mm -hmm. and that is we have an international entity, which is a part of NATO, mm -hmm. uh, the International Confederation of Reserve Officers, of which ROA USA is the member of the CIOR, the international organization. So that's what's always impressed me is the, uh, the breadth of opportunity, and you stated it so well, and you represented it so well, the opportunity uh, to be a part of all of these uh, members yes. and uh, of uh, all ranks, uh, yes. and now including, as you indicated, uh, enlisted, of which I had the opportunity again in World War II myself to be an enlisted man and then to be an officer. As was I. <laughs> tell, tell us, and, and that's wonderful. You represent us so beautifully, <laughs> and it's wonderful. Uh, tell us about the future. What about the future? So, with the future, um, one of the one of the nice things about being a life member is that I don't have to worry about when is my membership up. But I get to I get to actually be a part of um, helping to uh, re redesign the web pages, make it a little bit more user friendly. There's some migration going on getting part of that strategic communication, um, working with uh, another one of the finalists, uh, Lieutenant Kraft, um, with uh, some social media um, aspects for the ROA. Um, and then in, in my department with uh, the Nebraska department, um, looking at uh, helping to take on some more, uh, some more responsibilities there, um, looking at potentially with their, with their website, um, some, some other distance collaborative uh, opportunities because we are geographically spread out across Nebraska um, and I'm not even in Nebraska so it's, 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 it becomes a little bit challenging there um, and then with future opportunities it's ROA is really there's so many things that we can do and, and um, one thing I've always I've always lived by is that it's one thing to recognize that we have issues or as a reserve force that we face challenges but it takes a really special kind of courage to decide that you're going to be part of something greater than yourself, to get involved, to step up, and be a part of positive change. And ROA really is a way to do that. Well, let me, on behalf of all of ROA, our military, and our civilian part of our war life and reserve officers, congratulate you because you truly represent us. God bless you. Thank you. And every good wish for the future. Thank you so much.